What's going on, Valorant gamers? Welcome to Game Shine Gaming, the Valorant division. Now we're gonna go over all these crazy updates in the new patch notes 1.09. Listen, you gotta watch this video if there if you're an op player, if you're a jet player, there's some crazy changes. But there's a lot of buffs, there's a lot of nerfs. So let's go over everything right now. Let's start off with the agent updates. So first we're gonna talk about Omen. His paranoia has been changed. And exactly how it's been changed is updated projectile vfx to better represent its hitbox especially when it is traveling towards your pov your point of view so when that's traveling towards your point of view it's uh projectile vfx has been updated better represent its hitbox so now nah, jet crazy jet why are they doing this to jet because jet has been popping off in these tournaments and one of the most famous players plays Jet. So let's go into this. Blade Storm, Burst Fire. So pretty much the alt, the time between consecutive Burst Fire use has increased from 0 0.33 seconds to 0 0.45 seconds, okay? Dagger, Stone, and Burst now have a damage fall off that begins at 12 meters and drops steadily to 35 damage at max fall off. Wow. And the headshot multiplier has been uh, reduced to 3x to 2x so there are some uh that nerfs to the alt pretty much viper viper keeps getting buffs i feel like sh they wanted to buff viper up oh, fuel okay fuel viper now starts the round at 100 fuel previously 50 Jeez, that's a crazy buff right there snake bite vulnerable debuff applied from snake bite now lingers for two seconds after leaving viper's acid okay viper's pit move speed doubled while casting wow viper now fast equips her weapons after casting re-equip times vary per gun but on average will reduce her weapon downtime by 0.4 seconds okay i don't feel like that's big but man viper every patch getting a buff Impress fire rate bonus decrease from 25% to 15%. Wow. Arena got a nerf on that. I love that all. I love that fire speed. And what does it say here? At its previous fire rate, we felt Empress was too effective when using heavies, SMGs, and too fast to master the change in spray pattern on rifles. We hope this change allows us to address, address both issues at once while also giving us a chance to have a unified fire rate increase matching brimstones in below that players can learn and master i feel like if they're gonna nerf her all they should have buffed maybe the the um flash blind any of her other skills a little bit that was the fun part just getting that all that empress boom crazy fire speed let's jump into brimstone stem begin fire rate bonus increase so brim got a little little uh stem buff there we go brim doing big things weapon updates this is the crazy one let's go into the operator um rest in peace no i won't i won't, I won't spoil it spoil it yet so let's go over it first first off price increase 500 more dollars bam super expensive decrease scope movement speed so you're gonna move a lot slower while you're in scope adjusted weapon dead zone from becoming inaccurate at 30 percent movement speed 15 percent become inaccurate inaccurate sooner become accurate later when stopping wow so that reset definitely changed a lot from scoping not scoping moving etc firing rate reduced from 0.75 to 0.6 so shooting way slower Longer reload, instant equip time adjusted from 0 0.3 to 0 0.5. Instant equip plays after tapping orb, bomb diffuse, plant tap, jet cloud burst, and phoenix curveball. Okay. Leg shot damage decreased from 127 to 120. Wow. So pretty much what this tells me as far as competitively, what they wanted to do to the opera is they wanted to stop the aggressive ops, okay? 
It wanted people to stop doing all this crazy stuff with the ops and make it a little easier and make it a little more rewarding when you do op. I feel as if they want you to sit back, be in position, be ready, get your shot, and you have to hit your shots. And yeah, I think I don't think it's too over nerfed too much. I don't know how much of this will make a big difference. I mean, really, we're looking at 76, 72, 30.75, the 0.6, one, uh, seven less damage on the leg. So, I mean, these percentages don't look too crazy. The most craziest one is the is the price, obviously. Um, that's going to stop a lot of people from buying that up. And it's definitely an expensive gun now so that was the biggest nerf was the price um the other ones how how much they play in game we'll see um i think it's going to be a lot harder for beginners but i think people that already are offers already competitive players it's not going to be a big difference all right let's go into all weapons jump land inaccuracy state change from gradual to binary jump land inaccuracy duration increase from 0.2 to 0.225. Okay. Jump land inaccuracy value increased from 5.0 to 7.0. More inaccurate for 0.225 seconds after a land. So once you jump, no more B hopping. No more crazy B hops. But I think this is gonna will this affect the um the classic? This is gonna affect the classic burst. I feel like. That was my favorite thing. Very classic bursting. Uh doesn't get no better than that beautiful beautiful all right competitive updates during this patch the chances of being in an hour plus queue should be notably reduced perfect that's awesome social updates oh they were talking about the riot id review so they're gonna be got a new system they're banning all the terrible names out there so and away the names the bad names that go against the terms of service and remove multi-line breaks in chat okay Changes the party push to talk settings will now take effect immediately. The chat window can now be pinned to stay open across menus. Social panel sorting logic. Well, that's cool. All right, bug fixes. Three total fixes, including Silva's hitbox and custom game preferences. So that's it. I mean, the big ones are the nerf uh, on Jet, Reyna, and the operator. Let me know what you guys think with the operator when you're playing the operator after you watch this video come back leave a comment let me guys know what you think of these patches in the comments like always join our discord if you appreciate this video subscribe i try to make it easy so you guys can get better i'm a competitive player so i want you guys to play better and enjoy the game more and join the discord because we're growing that community that valorant community and sometimes we do uh, not sometimes. I mean, every month we've been doing battle pass giveaways. I want to start doing uh, skin giveaways. So come join the Discord, like, subscribe to the video, and I appreciate you guys for watching. Take care.